During the 1970s, Dutch pianist Jasper van Hoff was one of the most prolific musicians on the European jazz rock scene, playing in supergroups like Association PC and Pork Pie. And from his 1977 album, The Self Kicker, this is the title track. This beat is almost like impenetrable. The way this track just fades in uh, is it, just so unique in that. The syncopation of this, I'm, I'm trying to count it. It's almost like like disco backwards or something. It's It's got that, that hi-hat, but uh, just not on the right. Uh, <laughs> disco upside down or something. It seems like everything's just kind of like fading in rather than, it's almost like they, they took a track and, and they're playing like things backward, kind of, kind of that Sergeant Pepper effect, you know, where, where instead of like going like boom, it goes mm. Yeah, I swear like that that symbol I think is 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 being played backward maybe It almost sounds like that is being backward And there's those those like sounds underneath that. Mm, 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 that's giving almost kind of like a droning effect. It's. that probably a lot of people were quite surprised to find just how experimental this album turned out to be. I really like that sound, whatever it is. Let's see, Jesper Van Hoff is playing piano, synthesizer, organ, drums, vocals, Hammond organ, keyboards. Uh, not getting any maker model, let, let me see another source. consistent figure that that just keeps modulating keeps changing like like shifting tonics but it, it remains the same the, the figure just persists throughout <laughs> I 
I guess it's Jasper who's playing that um, one instrument with that. Oh, I, I, I'm still trying to find a way to describe the sound, but he, he's starting to really play it. I, I noticed that I heard it. It's, it's, it's kind of just hard to make out the notes, really, because of the 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 way that instrument resonates. The... <laughs> Um, introduce some of the other uh, T Total Blank is on electric guitar and he plays acoustic guitar on this album um, uh, on this track I guess he's he's giving us these like rhythmic figures um, I'm gonna point him out but um, Bo Steef on bass guitar Casper Winding drums oh and, and Pierre van der Linden drums I uh, uh, he only plays on track and I guess I guess the rest of it is um, okay actually Bo Steve only plays on two tracks maybe the one I'll play next um, actually actually I think um, this track right here oh let's see um, a bit more detail for this track exclusively synthesizer PPG organ prepared um, piano acoustic, huh? Yeah, I, I heard heard that. Um, still not not quite indicate. I, I guess he's kind of keeping the recipe secret for for these sounds. <laughs> Toto Blank is doing like down 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 like. No, 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 like that, kind of low in the mix. Uh, this track is mostly just Jasper and Toto. Uh. A real winding, kaleidoscopic, hallucinogenic number. Um, Let's hear another one from the album. How about um, Night After the Day Before? Sound, sounds very like beautiful, kind of like rainy night, walking in the rain. That title is kind of uh, confusing. Night after the day before. Um, huh. It's strange to, um, like, oh, I pinpoint the relationship between, like, it would be like Sunday night after Saturday afternoon. It's... Are 
there's two instruments that are playing. You have the piano and you have that other thing beneath it. Uh, I guess maybe like like another keyboard instrument. Playing the same notes, it's just the sound is so different. It 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 just I I guess it's like an an octave lower, but the, this the that that really bassy sustained tone. That's Toto Blank coming in with, um, oh, I wonder what kind of pedal he's using here, or what kind of effects, or how it's being treated. is just really going up into out I, I I can't even describe where this is taking me somewhere out of this planet of course <laughs> pitch bending is being employed here that it's gradually being kind of like wound up just ever so subtly giving it that oh that hallucinogenic effect i i just love when they do that like it, it it's not used very often but it, it's a it's a device on 70s recording that that just <laughs> If um, one heard the other, if 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 while one track was being laid down, um, probably not. <sighs> Did they record this live in the studio, or did they, or was each, or, or was Toto's part and Jasper's parts being played completely separate from one another? Like, it 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 it, it, it seems like it would be hard for um, one or the other to be playing their part and not be distracted. Like, it it seems like two almost like different musical ideas that 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 have just been combined by the producer and, and yet it works somehow in this really hallucinogenic kaleidoscopic kind of disorienting <laughs> How is he getting that tone, that Toto Blank, that guitar tone?
beautiful in just the most abstract, expressionistic, kaleidoscopic way that beauty can be rendered. Night After the Day Before by Jasper Van Hoff from the album The Self Kicker featuring Jasper on numerous instruments as well as Toto Blank on guitar on that track. <sighs> yeah, um, this is kind of like different than what you would have expected from these guys. I like you would have um a lot of people, you know, would have gone in expecting just a lot of filigree, a lot of like instrumental dexterity, fast playing, um, soloing like over ostinatos and you know, ranging from like uh jazz funk to symphonic to quasi classical passages to jazzier licks and such. But this just defied, these two pieces defied description. It was like purely, it, it was much more experimental. Just, um, they, they were um, working with sound and studio effects. And, um, and virtuosity kind of, while it was there, it, it wasn't like the main focus. While composition wasn't really the main focus so much as just laying down, you know, little licks, little parts, and then, then tweaking them with in the studio to create all these trippy effects and sounds and such. And I love it. It's really unique um, in a class by itself. For more rubies and sapphires from Jasper Van Hoff and um, from Association PC, and um, see the directory of albums by... Uh, Dutch artists linked in the description below and um, for total blank um, the directory of albums by German artists um, the pork pie albums can be found there as well and like and subscribe and follow me on social media and leave a comment if there are any observations you have about these tracks maybe you know how the sounds were um, achieved and might want to uh, leave a few hints or something if, if you know the secret to it all. And until next time, this is Aragon, the world's most ear travel trimaximalist, signing off.